So here I am in the city of Gettysburg. Like I said, it's good to get here early when no one else is around. It's a great time to walk around and to talk and to not have a lot of people because it's a pretty busy place, especially when the weather is great. So this is Cemetery Ridge, Cemetery Hill right over here. That building right there, that brick building with the black top, was the children's orphanage here in Gettysburg after the Civil War. So because so many people had been killed, then orphanage was opened. And you can see it has ghostly image tour on it and things like that because they say it's haunted. There's a story behind it that the woman who took care of the children was abusive and she actually was brought up on charges of abuse to the children and it's those children that still kind of haunt the orphanage. I went on a ghost tour here, which I think I recommend if you go to come to Gettysburg, do a ghost tour. They're fun and they do give you history. Hello, I'm Peter. Where are you from originally? So it's a really good way to walk around, see the city, learn about the city and learn history. So Amos Humston was a soldier from New York fighting here and he had died and he had died on the first day, July 1st. And he had died holding a picture of his three children. And when they found his body, there was no, there was nothing to identify him. So they took that picture of the three children and they ran it in the newspapers and his wife recognized the, the children. And then she could identify his body. She was actually the first caretaker of the orphanage. She brought her three children here and she um, helped take care of the orphanage. I think Amos Humston dies somewhere along this area because this was all fighting area right here. Like you get the Jetty Wade house is right down the street there. That building right there that wasn't there, that's the Gettysburg Inn of 1869 or something. That was a ton of fighting happened where that building was. So people fought right here in the town. So this is where that picture was found. That's the orphanage right there. Right across from the Dairy Queen, <laughs> there's a stone structure. And the stone structure was here during the Battle of Gettysburg. And during the first day of fighting, a general was mortally wounded, and that was General Reynolds. And he was brought here, his body was brought here, died here, and the story that I got on my ghost tour. Okay, I have a plan. I know exactly what to do. Now stay close. Stay close. Get her! Ah! Building 1863, is that he had a fiance and they had kept their engagement a secret because they had different religious backgrounds. One was Protestant, one was Catholic. And she had decided to come here to surprise him. And she arrived just as they had brought him in mortally wounded. So she stayed with his body and his body was laid out in the kitchen back here. And the ghost story goes that people can walk by sometimes and see candles going back there in the kitchen and see a woman in a nice dress. 10 people witnessed a free floating, full torso vaporous apparition. But here is the sign that's out in front. General Reynolds, first Union general killed the Battle of Gettysburg. He was carried by his aides to this house. He's actually buried in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That's where they will take his body. His fiance will go with his body there as well. And then I guess she joins a nunnery because she said if she wasn't gonna marry him, she wasn't gonna marry anybody. But this is a stone structure here uh, in Gettysburg that was here during the Civil War. And it has this plaque out in front of it. Now this location serves as an old time photo place, which I think is totally cool because I would totally do that. If I could ever get Scott to agree and go along. Because you did not use the magic word. You do a whole family photo. But this is one of the locations on the ghost tour. There was more stories with this one, but I thought that one was the most interesting. So another place on the ghost tour was Dobbin House Restaurant and Tavern, right here again on Steinware Road. This restaurant 
which was once a home to Mr. Dobbin, was built in 1776. Yes. So it was built in 1776. And Mr. Dobbin was the local preacher, and he made a school here. He had 10 children, and then his wife passed away. He married another woman who had nine children. So together they had 19 children. And all of the children <laughs> stayed upstairs in the house. And they lived downstairs. But this was here. This survived Gettysburg. And they say at night, I took a picture of it. You can get the profile of Abraham Lincoln off the rocks when the light shines against the rocks. So I'll show you the picture. It is pretty uncanny how much it does look like Abraham Lincoln. Uh, this here is now a five-star restaurant. So if you come here to Gettysburg, eating at the Dobbin House Restaurant and Tavern is like fine cuisine here in Gettysburg. So. Okay, sir, if you and your staff could please wait out here, we'll take care of everything. The reason why this was on the ghost tour is because they say this is also a stop on the Underground Railroad, and there is a bookcase on the second floor you can open up. You're right, no human being would stack books like this. Listen. And there's a room back there where they would hide enslaved that were running away. So they say that it's haunted by not only one of the, the children maybe that had lived there, because this was also a school at one point. So a child that lived there likes to eat people's food or take put fingers in cake which I think is just a person who wants to put their fingers in cake. And then there's an African-American girl that they see here as well. So those are the two ghosts they say that haunt here at Dobbin House. So this is one of the ghost stories that I was also told about, William Miller. Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. So William Miller. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. Disobeyed the orders and took ground and defended an area. He got court-martialed for that. Then he also received the Medal of Honor for the same action. And he was buried here. It wasn't marked that he received the Medal of Honor. So the ghost story was that he haunted this area until it was marked on his marker, and now he doesn't haunt the area anymore. Tell him about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? This is who I did my haunted tours with, um, the candlelight walking tours in Gettysburg Ghost Tours. They were awesome. I had two amazing tour guides. I did one of the cemeteries and the orphanage, and I did the other one, Battle Cry, that talked about actually parts of the battle that happened here in the town of Gettysburg. So if you get a chance to do a ghost tour, I definitely recommend these guys.